remember like five or six months ago. I did in fact own a Golf R32. Uh, we did some videos on it. Uh, like we, well, we put an exhaust on it. That's about what I did to it really. And then there was no videos and there has been no videos for five months and I've bought the Subaru. Now, what happened? Let's talk about it. The Golf was written off, not by me personally. Someone, um, let me to get out of here. Yeah, someone crashed into me. A bit, a bit annoying, but yeah, I can't see anything because the sun's in my eyes. So let me get out of the sun and I'll continue my story. Jesus, that's bright today. So yeah, someone crashed into the Golf. Uh, I don't know the details, but yeah, someone crashed into the Golf. You don't need to know the details. It's with the insurance, but yeah, that's why there's been no videos on the Golf because it got written off. I'm gonna include some pictures. Blah blah blah. But the Golf was a goner. Uh, insurance valued it at like 10 grand to repair, so they just rear off. And uh, gave me the money and I bought a Subaru with it. Subaru wasn't that bad, it wasn't, wasn't that expensive. I had some money to play around with, which is why we did service, brakes, blah, blah, blah. And I uh, got new wheels, just got new tyres for it today. Michelin PS4s, lovely tyres. But yeah, it was, it was a bit of a sad day that day in May. But yeah, the golf got written off and it's gone, never to come back. The insurance company has it. I don't know where it is now, probably scrapped. But it's gone. And that's why there's been no videos on the golf and why there will never be any more videos on the golf. Kind of a blessing in disguise because of the rear arches. As we all know, they were kind of rusty. Uh, and when, when it got hit into, the actual, you can actually see where the, the rear core panel that got hit had been repaired and it was just full of filler and behind that filler was just rust. It wasn't a cheap car to buy and uh, it's kind of upsetting because I'd done the exhaust on it, that was like £700 and everything else various I'd done to it which is kind of annoying but it happens. It just took a very, very, very long time for the insurance company to sort it out. It took over five months for me to get the money back for the Golf. So, in that respect, I wasn't happy with the insurance company, but we're naming no names. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's finally over and done with. And we can continue to do stuff on the Subaru. We've got its MOT today, so hopefully it passes that. There's a speed camera there. But, yeah. That, I just wanted to update you why now it's over I can finally update you and say this is why the golf's gone and this is why there's going to be no videos on the golf. It was a very sad day. I didn't want to see the golf go because it was a lovely sounding car and it was lovely to drive. It was a shit economy and don't, don't, don't even try and say it was good on economy because it was absolutely horrendous. It got like 20 miles to the gallon and uh, well, the way I drove it it got 20 miles to the gallon. But now we're with the Subaru and with these new tyres. It's good. I love it. And as we saw in the last video, it makes perfect stop power after 12 years. So it's been looked after. To make stop power after 12 years is pretty decent uh, in my eyes. Believe it or not, but this Subaru, as it sits at currently 225 brake, is actually quicker than the Golf because it's a lot lighter. It's got a turbo. We can crank up the boost, make it a hell of a lot quicker. But yeah, it weighs a lot less. Even though it's got a smaller engine, 2.5 litre, it just weighs a lot less and it's a lot nicer. I think it's a bit more comfy as well with the cloth seats. I never really got on with the interior of the Golf because it was leather and in the summer it was stupidly hot. Sit your ass down and it burns. But yeah, let me just turn around in here. I'm actually going the opposite way of where I want to go. But yeah, I do like the Subaru. I've always been a bit of a Subaru fanboy. That's why I bought another one. Why I bought the hatch is because, well, one, it's kind of regarded as the most disliked Subaru within the Subaru Impreza family. The, uh, I believe it's one called Shark Eye or whatever. And 
and you don't really see many of them on that road because of that reason and that's why I wanted one because you don't really see many it's kind of obsolete no one really wants one so that's why I wanted one I wanted to update you it's gonna be a little short video of why I wanted to update you golf's gone Subaru is now it's only still got the 350 so there's gonna be plenty more videos on that and yeah stay tuned and we will see you on the next video of the Subaru so see you later